Back on the other side of Old Town Village, work has been underway on a very typical but exceptionally high-spec housing estate being built by Fingal County Council, who have recently led the charge in energy efficiency. In this case, their aim is to build an A-rated social housing estate. Good morning, Duncan. How are you? Not too bad. You're very welcome here. Thank you. How many houses here, Joe? 35 in total. There is 18 affordable and 17 social. So I believe you've achieved very good energy ratings that's here. That's right, that's right. How have you done? An A3 rating on all those houses, apart from one which we hope to achieve an A2 rating on it. I'd love to have a look that. around. Yeah, come ahead. Okay, yeah. I'm more than welcome. So yeah. these ones here then are what? These are social houses here. Right. These are all now two bedroom, are they? These that's ones? right, yeah. <coughs> 70, 72 square metres. Affordable housing. Affordable housing. Yeah, right. yeah. All to A3 standard. All to A3 standard. The solar panels on the back of those houses. All oh, right, this is the north side here. This is the north side, yes, looking at here. This centre area, what's that going to be like? It's going to be all landscape, green area with a few swings and roundabouts and things for the children. So it will work very well, oh, kind of around. Yeah. To achieve A rating, the decision was made at design stage to go timber frame construction. What are the special features of these houses that have achieved such good performance? It's an engineered product that's manufactured on the factory conditions. The factory is, is, is responsible for the quality of the actual panel that goes to site. The majority of the insulation is actually fitted in the factory, which incorporates the insulation with the airtight membrane that is on the panels, which lends to accuracy on site. Speed of erection on site means speed of the overall build. We can achieve higher levels of insulation in the walls itself. It's an affordable solution for a low energy house. Every forest that we actually buy the timber from gets replanted the very, very next year. So it's renewable also? Renewable also. How does the timber frame industry control standards itself? Standards are controlled ultimately by the NSAI, but you must be a member of the Irish Timber Frame Manufacturers Association. Both parties govern basically what goes on in the factory and on site as well. Hi Bob. Duncan, how are you? Good to see NSA out on the site here. Yes, we're carrying out an inspection on the timber frame houses. And you typically do inspections like this? Absolutely, from start to finish. On a site like this, what are you looking out for when you inspect? First thing we look for, Duncan, is that the concrete bases are correctly dimensioned. That ensures that when the timber frame kit is erected on it, that there won't be any problems. And the second thing we would inspect are the floor panels and the upper panels, and finally, the roof. Why should timber frame manufacturers be certified with NSAI? It's very important that all the materials they use are fully in compliance with the standards for each material used. The structural timber must be strength graded, must be at the right moisture content. The grade marking uh, should be on all the structural timber to demonstrate that it complies with the standard. NSEI and the industry have completed the development of a new national standard on timber frame. As it combines 60 different standards, which beforehand had to be referred to separately. If people want to get information about timber frame, where can they go? Well, the first place they should look is the NSEI website. That's nsei.ie. Another step in ensuring an A rating is measuring the level of air tightness with a blow door test. This A2 house achieved an air tightness of 0.7, 14 times better than the new building regulation standard. Nile Crossan explains air tightness. It's, it's like a balloon. You're sealing up the whole external envelope with absolutely minimal gaps and cracks on the external envelope. The air tightness layer is limiting heat loss through the insulation and also minimising any risk of condensation. In Ireland we don't get minus 20 degree temperatures outside but we do get a lot, a lot of wind exposure and having an airtight house is a key element in achieving an energy efficient home. It's very important to build tight but to ventilate right. In this case they're using a heat recovery ventilation unit. Build tight, ventilate right is a good motto and Bill Quigley of NewTech is going to take me through why air tightness and good ventilation work together. This is the heat recovery ventilation unit. So how does it work? Basically what we're doing with this is we are taking warm air out of the wet rooms of the house, like the kitchen, the utility room, the downstairs toilet, the bathrooms and, and so on. And all of that air is taken out of the house and it goes across this unit and it gives its heat to the air coming in. And the air coming off this unit, the fresh air will be at around about 18 degrees. That would be uh, the normal condition. We have a little trick with this in as much as we put that air at 18 degrees 
over the solar collectors even on a dull day. So that will give us enough energy to heat the house with solar energy all on its own. Now we do need a backup you know, for, for winter nights and the backup will be an air to water heat pump which is outside the back here. How much are going to cost people to heat a house like this? This house typically would be heated uh, for about 150 euro per year and that's for space heating, ventilation and domestic hot water. That's incredibly good. This social housing project is way ahead of current building regulations in Her energy use and fresh air quality. That's been achieved for little extra cost and it's the future standard for all Irish homes.